arrested and threatened many of our colleagues and denied many of my people the right to hunt even simply because of my police were affiliation. And we are appearing before this commission this morning, more than five years later, Madam Chair, we had. And Madam Chair and the Commission, Article 28 of what is left of the Constitution of the Republic of Uganda provides for the right to a fair hearing. It provides for the person that a person shall be entitled to a fair, speedy, and public hearing before an independent and impartial court or tribunal. It is more than five years ago, Madam Chair, and as all of us know, justice delayed, justice denied. Madam Chairperson and members, uh, this commission which is empowered by the Constitution to protect constitutional rights is instead the one violating those rights. I mean, Madam Chair, you know, fairness, how can a complain? Excuse regarding... me, if that is the personal statement you are making, which is an attack on the commission, you are free to withdraw your complaint. I will not allow you to deny place to the must place and to demean and to disrespect this commission. If that is the personal statement you are making, you are not going any further. Madam Chair, you are represented, attitude... you have to speak through your lawyers. But if you, you want gave me chance to speak, Madam Chair, you did not tell me what to say. To accuse this commission of violating human rights. Madam Chair, you will not speak any further. About you you that. yourself, Madam Chair, came out and uh, mocked the victims of the missing people and I am hereby directing you to leave and I hereby withdraw my uh, complaint to this commission because this commission lacks the impartiality, it lacks the independence I am directing you this where is case, security? Madam Chair. It is alright, but at least it is before the world. I am directing you to leave. Yeah, it's alright. Most of life. Security, come and take him out. Sure, I will. I will leave Madam Chair. But it's clear that I've withdrawn my statement because clearly you are impartial and you lack the independence to handle this. This commission is on a test to decide whether it is serving the people of Uganda or serving the interests of General Museveni and his military regime. Remember, Madam Chair, this is supposed to be the Uganda Human Rights Commission. I'm and I want you to go on record leave. telling you this. Thank you. I'm not putting you in it. I'm not allowing you. The word had you, Madam Chair. Okay. The complaint is dismissed. So, ladies and gentlemen, today, this morning, we have withdrawn our complaint from the Uganda Human Rights Commission because it's clear that biased, it is uh, lacking the independence and impartiality to handle this case. I filed this case on 17th December 2018. More than five years they have not been giving me a chance to a hearing. And when I was given a chance to a hearing, you know, she couldn't allow me to express myself. She couldn't allow me to make a personal statement. That shows that she's biased and she's not willing to defend human rights, but she is only working to entrench General Museveni and to do anything that will preserve General Museveni's rule, even if it means uh, empowering and protecting gross, viol uh, gross human rights violations. So for that reason, we have withdrawn uh, our complaint from this commission, because this commission is clearly in, uh, lacking the impartiality and lacking the independence. Uh, what, is, what is the message you want to do about that? What is the case that you have withdrawn for some we, we filed a case on December 17th uh, over the violation of my rights, my right to earn a living, uh, cancelling more than 20 of my shows, but they went ahead to cancel even many more after we filed the complaint. Uh, the complaint has never been heard, they've never given us a hearing. Uh, we complained about uh, the enforced disappearances, but Madame Wangadia herself came out and said that the people whose families, whose spouses were demanding for are non-existent. She said they are the one, you know. And today when I was making my personal statement, she blocked me, she uh, stopped it, you know, clearly showing that she's biased. So for that reason and many other reasons, 
we had no option but to withdraw our complaint from her office because she cannot be an independent, she cannot be an impartial arbiter in this matter. Oluwalero okwe murugunya kwa fe kwetwa leta mukachiko ke demberi obuntu emyaka egisuka mu etano egise nga 10 na musambu ogwe 12 2018 Oluwalero okwe murugunya kwa fe tukujeyo musambu kwa fe tukujeyo mukachiko kanu kuba kachiko mukala biladala kaina che kubira madamu wanga dia yanga yakulira kachika ako avude ebisera binji nyo nga ayogera mu rwatu nga bola no kunyomola no kudulira abantu abawambi bwa kabantu babu yatenga kachiko kede meri obuntu kaino bayamba avude ebisera binji nga ayogera mu kama ko nga alata ina side na yengo budene kwecho amateka ga fe atiko eyabi mu munana mu constitution eragira amakoti gonna no buchiko bonna bonna wina oku oku murungula okutakwatagana okuwa a uh, okuliza okwama ngudala atuko kwenkanya eri abantu bona bayino okwe mulugunya na yinze buchanga ndeta kwa mulugunya kwange emyaka jigenda mukaga isuka mu etano tebampa mukisa kwe yogera ko atiru bampa do mukisa mola bingeri je isiza so olwebyo ne bilala binji nyo msango kwa fetu kujiye kubanga akachiko ke demberi obuntu sikachiko ka demberi abuntu wabola kana akachiko ke nyinyi atike kakozesebwa okulinyirira edemberi obuntu kwaga de twani ke yensi yonna emanye dikachiko ke kwese we kwesi mukulwanira dembe lya abuntu na ite kalwanira dembe lya abuntu kanyigiriza dembe lya abuntu gakakulemberwa mchalo oyo maria muangade mwe bali nyumwe bali